Welcome to NYCClinicalWorkshop.com. You are watching an intermittent catheterization, sterile technique. So what you see me doing here is writing my mnemonic along the top that will help keep me on target throughout my sterile um, technique station. Now I'm reading the S bar for any pertinent data that can help lead me to my clinical decision for what procedure I will be performing. I am double, triple, and quadruple checking just to make sure that my decision is correct. Now I am showing the, the um, clinical examiner my uh, decision. She's going to tell me to proceed. I'm going to gel my hands. And now I'm going ahead and getting my mannequin. I checked to see if the garbage can was near. The garbage can was near. So then I went and got my mannequin. Making sure that drape stays on to maintain privacy. Now I'm going to go right ahead and identify my patient against two of the three identifiers. Name, date of birth, or the medical record number. Now I am gelling my hands again, and I'm going to gather my supplies and organize my supplies. Once my supplies are organized, I'm going to open them away from me. You can rearrange the, um, the area to make it work best for you. And that is what you see me doing here. I'm trying to maximize the space that I have. So I'm rearranging the table. I've gelled again. And I'm getting ready to think about what I need to do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open those sterile gloves. Now actually, being that this package pulls back like that, I would just pull the gloves out and throw that away. I wouldn't really open it all the way like you saw me there. Um, during the actual test, I did just open it a little bit and pull out the gloves. Now I'm opening the actual um, catheter cath kit. I removed the outside packaging threw that in the garbage, then I took out the, the paper on the inside that tells me um, the size of the catheter that I'll be using. Now I'm opening the sterile gloves. I'm just being mindful to touch the edges of this package here to keep it sterile. I just move that gel closer to the edge so that I don't have to reach. So now I'm trying to figure out where a better spot would be for it because unfortunately the space wasn't as uh, big as I would have liked it to be. 
However, when I tested at Albany Medical Center, they did have very long tables. Um, the tables were just kind of short in width, but they were nice and long. So I, I did have enough room to maneuver around. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up this cath kit and I'm going to open with the one farthest away from me. Then the sides, so I'm starting with my right side and then that left side there and then I'm going to open the one closest towards me being sure to touch the edges of that there. And if you notice, I didn't undrape the mannequin yet. I'd like to wait until I have everything open. And then I'm going to go ahead and undrape that mannequin. So I'm going to, I'm sticking my hands inside there and being careful to only t touch that blue um, drape there. And I'm going to put that drape underneath the mannequin with the shiny side down. Okay. Now I'm gelling again and I'm being careful not to reach over the sterile field. Now I'm putting on the sterile gloves. It's okay to touch the cuff here with both hands, but you don't want to touch the outer cuff with your um, donned glove. So you want to make sure you go underneath the cuff with the Dawn glove. Sterile to sterile. That outside cuff is not sterile. Now it's okay to touch the contents inside of that kit. Everything is sterile. So you can touch everything with your gloves. So I just opened up the, um, the cotton swabs and then I opened up that syringe and I am um, pouring the contents of the syringe onto the catheter there. I use my glove and my hand, my gloved hand to move that kit. Now I am spreading the labia and I am going to take out one swab and wipe the farthest labia from cleanest to dirty front to back and then I'm going to wipe the labia nearest to me from clean to dirty from front to back and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the middle and as I'm doing me this and I'm throwing away those cotton swabs, I'm making sure to keep my sterile hands above my waist. Now I am getting the catheter and I'm going to insert it into the meatus two to three inches. I'm gonna hold it for five seconds. Urine is supposed to come out, but it's mannequins, so no urine is gonna come out. Then I'm gonna pull it out slowly and move that kit away. And I'm going to use that drape there to wipe the vagina. And then I'm gonna cover my mannequin back to maintain privacy. And then I'm gonna clean up 
really quickly and throw my stuff away and do my documentation. Removing those sterile gloves. I'm gonna throw everything out and I'm gonna gel. And I do have a mnemonic for this documentation. If you'd like that mnemonic, you can visit www.nycclinicalworkshop.com. Also, if you're interested in more videos, tips, or tricks, or if you like one-on-one -on -one coaching by me, feel free to visit nycclinicalworkshop.com. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to tell a friend, like, subscribe, or leave a comment down below.